very warm welcome to everyone who has tuned in to watch this conversation with Dr. N. K. Arora. We are going to talk about the biggest buzzword these days, which is disease X. Uh, Dr. Arora is co-chair of INSACOG, which is a national multi-agency consortium of genome sequencing laboratories. He is also head of uh, COVID-19 working group called National Technical Advisory Group of Immunization. NTAGI, an apex panel that made critical and crucial decisions on the use and development of COVID-19 vaccines in India. Thank you so much, Dr. Arora, for uh, joining us. Sir, uh, let me begin by asking a very simple qu question to you, which is the definition of disease X. Everyone is thinking that probably this is something that, you know, we need to be uh, panicked about and all. So I just want you to, you know, uh, let us know that what does this disease X actually mean? So disease X appears as if it is a disease by itself, but that's not correct. It's a misnomer in that sense. Disease X means any unknown infection which may come uh, anytime in future. So I would say that in 2018-19, uh, we would have uh, use the same word disease X and when COVID came subsequently. So currently we do not know what this disease is. In fact, uh, it is this whole issue and whole buzz around disease X uh, has, uh, has come up because COVID really brought all of us on our feet and there is need for pandemic and epidemic preparedness for future. And therefore, this approach that if any disease comes, how do we address that? So disease X is not a disease. It is. It can be anything, any infection uh, issue, which is uh, which has the uh, potential for outbreak like COVID. And the system, the, the world is ready to address and face it better as compared to what we did in COVID-19. So this is just a hypothetical hypothetical uh, uh, situation is this just an imagination where we want to prepare for the worst while hoping for the best yes absolutely that it is a hypothetical so just like uh, i i give this example that we uh, put uh, cctv in our house we have uh, dogs in our house we have a chokidar and we see that there is electric wiring ar across our uh, uh, our, our our walls to prevent entry of any thief. So so we can think about this example that here the thief or somebody who wants to enter my house is disease X, and whatever actions I am taking is uh, a, that preparedness to address that issue. So if we can understand that, so we do not know who will come, but we make generic preparation so that in case somebody comes, we are able to tackle it well. So why are we discussing this right now? What is the aim behind the discussions that are going on? Is there, is there any trigger? Is there anything specific that why are we discussing this right now? Or just because we have just gotten out of COVID, so we have started discussing about the next pandemic? No, it has always been there. And that is why we have inst uh, uh, institutions like disaster management or those kind of authorities are there because we keep ourselves prepared. And COVID has told us that we should be better prepared. And globally now there is a move for uh, pandemic preparedness and epidemic preparedness in coming times. Right, right. So uh, according to you, sir, what should be our strategy? How should we prepare ourselves and which are the priority areas where you, we should be focusing more? There are four or five issues which need to be thought through in a concurrent manner. Simultaneously, we have to think about it. We need to think about what could be possible uh, organisms, whether these are viruses or bacteria. So countries uh, regionally and globally and at national level are talking about prioritization so that particular families of viruses or bacteria which can create this kind of a situation. And particularly we talk about uh, zoonotic disease, that organisms which can jump from animal kingdom to human side and then propagate in within the human side. 
So there is a lot of work going on within India, uh, uh, Department of Biotechnology, Indian Council of Medical Research. There are this uh, exercise of prioritization is taking place so that we have a framework and identify anything new which is circulating. The second thing is that our surveillance system has to become very robust. We need to continue and not dismantle the uh, the structure which has been created for surveillance. So INSACOG is a very good example. And there is a lot of effort that we make it uh, uh, useful for future uh, as well. The third thing is that we need to have uh, our, we are considered pharmacy of the world. So we need to have a structure uh, where we are able to uh, uh, what one should say, design better antiviral and antibacterial drugs. Be prepared so in case something is required. And then now a third uh, dimension besides antibacterial, antiviral is monoclonal antibodies. So there is a lot of research on that area. Fourth one is the, the vaccines. And in, it is in this area, India has really done remarkable. During last three years, with very strategic investment and under the guidance of uh, Apex leadership, now India has six or seven platforms or six or seven types of vaccines can be developed very rapidly. So we are talking about mRNA vaccine. You have heard the, the two scientists who were working on mRNA have got Nobel Prize because of the versatility of the whole technology. India has that technology and which is very India friendly. We have DNA vaccine technology. We have intranasal vaccines. We have all the other types of vaccines, uh, whether it is uh, live attenuated virus, it is killed virus, it is protein subunit virus. So various kinds of platforms are there and India is now in a position that we can uh, uh, kind of develop R and do R&D and develop new vaccines in a very short period. In fact, SEPI, this international organization has given a challenge that within 100 day vaccine should be developed and India part is part of that challenge. So when we uh, develop, this means that vaccine should reach to the clinical stages, clinical trials. Yes, to up to in clinical stages. So within three months or four months uh, of uh, getting the, uh, the first uh, uh, kind of sample of the virus or bacteria, one is able to get onto that stage. You complete preclinical or animal studies and be ready to start testing for human studies. So these four pronged strategy is to be uh, uh, is being maintained and finally not to forget that our health infrastructure should be ready as we have seen that there was exponential increase in laboratories for clinical services increase in the number of beds available we need to see that public and private sector are are able to work in harmony so that we are better prepared to handle the clinical load in case there is a sudden surge of patients. So a, right. a, a multi-pronged strategy, a comprehensive strategy is talked about and this country is getting ready for that. And what do you think about animal surveillance, sir, when we talk about One Health approach? You're, you're, this is a beautiful question that when we are talking about uh, disease X, the studies on One Health approach is are absolutely necessary. In fact, there is a One Health mission which has been established and which is being driven by a principal scientific advisor to prime minister. And this whole approach is, it is animals, it is uh, uh, the cattle, it is the fisheries, it is, uh, uh, in fact, vegetation, along with human beings, that all our ecosystem is uh, surveillance is done because one sector affects the other. And that is why this has been taken up in a mission mode. And in coming years, One Health will be one of the focus areas for, uh, for the scientists as well as clinicians uh, alike, uh, at least in India, but in several other parts as well. Dr. Aroda, if you, in case you want to add on anything, if you want me to ask uh, some question that have not, because I want to keep it short because not many people generally watch it till the end. If in yes. case you want to ask something so, else. No, I, I would just say uh, toward the end that not to get panicky with uh, when you hear disease X, it's not a disease. So I'll it just ask the question. 
So yes. So ask that question. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Aroda, is there any need to be in panic when we talk about disease X? There are a lot of WhatsApp forwards and uh, social media is going gaga over disease X. So what do you advise general public? So I would request uh, all my dear friends that not to get panic. Disease X, as I said, is, uh, is, a, is, a, uh, is a target for which we are getting prepared. It's not a disease. It can be, uh, and, uh, and we are preparing ourselves and putting ourselves in a better place so that in future, uh, we are well prepared, whether it is diagnosis of the disease, whether it is management of the disease, whether it is treatment, follow-up, uh, from all perspectives, we are much better prepared than ever before. Thank you so much, uh, doctor, for uh, joining us and thank you everyone for watching.